Hello everybody and welcome back to my home here in East Tennessee on this gorgeous morning in May. And look what I have. My Easter cactus that my friend Sharon Holmes sent me has bloomed. And look at the beauty here. Oh my goodness. These blooms are just absolutely gorgeous. They open up while the sun's up. <laughs> And then when the sun goes down, they close. And I have learned that these last a little bit longer, actually quite a bit longer than the Thanksgiving cactus blooms do. I've had one blooming on here for about a week, actually a week and a half. So that's amazing. So I wanted to thank everybody who helped me with this because I learned Easter cactus care is much different than Thanksgiving cactus care. So I want to thank especially everybody who gave me sound advice on this. Um, Molly S., Nolan Holmberg, Medical Pro. Thank you all so much for your advice. As you see, it worked. Right now, all I'm doing with this plant is about every six or seven days, I give it about six ounces of water. It's taking in just a little bit more water. And as you see, the plant doesn't look limp anymore. Several of you commented that, you know, it had gone pretty limp and it did. But as you see, it worked. It bloomed. It was really, really hard for me not to water this thing much. Um, I didn't water it much at all between November 1st and February 14th. Um, I got a really good shrivel on it, and then I gave it a little bit of water. And um, that's all I did for all those months. And then once the buds started forming, I noticed the plant was taking in a little bit more water. So right now, every six or seven days, about six ounces of water is doing a really good job. I did make one little misstep on this plant. I'll show you. It's kind of funny. The back of it isn't blooming because I did not turn it towards the light. So next year I need to remember to turn it every few days so that it gets sunlight on both sides of the plant. But as you see, if it doesn't get enough light, it won't bloom. But I do love the fact that these open while the sun is hitting them. And then at dark, the blooms close. I just find that so charming. I come back here at night and they're all closed up and it's just, it's just such a funny sight to see. But aren't the blooms just, oh my goodness, they're just absolutely gorgeous. Look at the close up of this one. So, so pretty. I can see why so many of you love growing these. Yes, I do too. These are awesome plants. And my Thanksgiving cacti are all in growth mode right now. Do you see all the little the new growth here? Yes, everywhere. And it has one, one bloom left on it. I don't know if I told you all this, but last year, the day that we brought Jasmine, my little schnauzer puppy, home, it had one bloom left on it. The end of June. Yes. Plants know when things are going on in your life. So it had that one bloom to just celebrate Jasmine coming home. And you all know, <laughs> Big Red is, wow, there's new growth everywhere on Big Red. I gave him quite a haircut a few months ago. And look, he's just sprouting new blades everywhere. Yeah. My goodness. This is in a 16 inch decorative pot. It's the biggest pot that I could find. Um, my husband drilled holes in the bottom of it for me. And that's what he's growing in. He's absolutely huge. And Jasmine heard her name. So here she is. See, I just got up from a nap. And these two cacti, I'm probably going to need to up pot these two. Uh, this Samba Brazil that Michael McCarthy sent me is in a three-inch orchid pot. 
and this gorgeous one that Paula sent me from Hillbilly Orchids. Um, wow, that is, you can tell when they start growing really well, they, they almost feel like plastic. They're just really, really strong, resilient. Ooh, this is really, really nice. I'm going to need to up pot this one too. I'm having to water it a little bit too much and it needs a new pot. It's in like a three and a half inch pot. So this one's going to go in a four inch orchid pot and this one's going to go in a larger four inch or maybe a four and a half inch pot. But look how those have grown. That is amazing. But yeah, I need to be repotting these before they get much more growth on them. They've just done so well. I've only had these two plants for about a year. And um, yeah, they really enjoy growing in my sunroom. And here's the peach one that my friend Sharon sent me. And I just noticed it has a bud right here. Several of you have asked me, mine are still budding and blooming. What do I do? As long as they're blooming, I let them bloom. Because once they go into growth mode, they'll put on plenty of new clades and new growth for the next blooming season. You don't really have to be concerned about that. But yeah, she's decided she's going to give me another bloom. That's awesome. And as I end this video, I'll give you another overview shot of, oh goodness, this gorgeous Easter cactus. It is so gratifying to learn how to grow a new plant. You know, I've grown orchids, I've grown Thanksgiving cacti for so many years, and I'm just so happy with this plant. It is just so gorgeous. Um, it taught me you know, the water, the watering queen is what I always call myself because I, I like to water things, but not everything needs water all the time, right? So anyway, uh, those efforts really, truly paid off. And now I've got this gorgeous bloom show. Yay. I'm so glad. So I appreciate you all going on this journey with me so much. I have a playlist on my channel about how I've taken care of this all year long. If you want to go back and just see how the care changed throughout the year, um, these are relatively easy to take care of, especially if you don't like watering much. Oh, this is your plant. <laughs> so uh, thanks again, everybody, for watching. Thanks to everybody who helped me with this. I appreciate you all so much. You all are my orchid and Thanksgiving and Easter cactus family. So hope you all have a great day. And before I end the video, I would love to say the blessing over you, your families, and your plants. May the Lord bless you and keep you. Make his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. May the Lord turn his face toward you and give you peace. We'll talk to you all next time.